My work is very much about being in the process, being making things, and making all the time. And so um, I had to imagine doing that on a really large scale. And it was an opportunity to do what I do in my sketchbooks and to do them in the whole space. And so to have that kind of opportunity is amazing. So that's what people see in the first space, or what are, was considered the first two galleries, are an attempt to do what I do in my books, to think of the page, think of the walls as a page, a 60-foot page uh, by 12 feet high. Also, I wanted to make two pieces that kind of talk to each other. So I'm, I'm thinking that that's, there should be some sort of dynamic conversation going on between the, between the two drawings or the two walls. The face that is in Gallery 2, um, I decided to make that one because it was, it is in my sketchbooks, it is something I have drawn out. I wanted to make something that was going to have a very graphic presence, obviously, on the wall something that could extend off the wall. So she has this very strange Pinocchio kind of thing coming out of her nose that wraps partly around the wall. And I wanted one of the faces that had big hair. I don't know why. I'm not sure why I wanted that. Probably because from a formal point of view, I wanted a large, I wanted it to take up a large part of the wall. And uh, that particular face seemed to have, I don't know, just kind of had both humor, but it has an oddness about it that's a little bit hard to define. I wanted to represent the more figurative part of my, the way I work, and so that's the face that we see in, the, in this show. I also wanted to do something that is very much about gesture, and so that's the large piece when we come into the gallery. Uh, that will take up the whole wall and wrap around the wall. And then I wanted the 18 ovals that are kind of half their ellipse ovals. In this show, the face is the only piece that I um, envisioned larger. Everything else was made for the gallery. So nothing else exists any, anywhere else. They exist there for Richmond, which is why I called it Ovals for Richmond. It took a long time to, to, to land on that idea and, and the concept that the, the ovals would start right from the entrance and walk all the way down that wall to the third gallery. So um, as I say that, I guess I'm thinking that these are kind of figures in themselves. And so they, they're, whether they're figures or they're footsteps or they're about something that is a form that is walking down and that leaves evidence of its presence along and takes you. So, and I wanted that to feel the same way when you're coming out of Gallery 3. I wanted it to be a different experience going in and coming out. I love lines so much and I so enjoy making lines and anything that has lines including shirts and clothing which and generally I use a lot of pattern clothing uh, plaids and ginghams and and that I really wanted to use something where I could actually hold the line and I think that's how, I think, I don't remember, but I think that's how I started using felt. Uh, because it was an easy material, so I can cut the line. I create the line by cutting it with the scissors, but then I can hold it too. And that's most evident, I think, in the, um, in the drawings that are in, in Gallery 3. I'm not sure that I have worked with the body a lot as much as I have worked with clothing a lot, and I've included clothing. And I think part of that, I, I, I ask myself that, I'm always wondering about that, because I'm constantly attracted to, to clothing and to fabric, and how fabric falls and how clothing falls, and, and, 
and what and fabrics themselves and yet I don't sew I've never sewn I I wouldn't know what to do really with uh, with a sewing machine but I love the idea of sewing machines <laughs> I love how they work I love stitches I like the regularity of stitch stitches um, I like how collars meet. I like how buttons are on shirts. I like how skirts are pleated. Um, I like both the formal quality of what they are, and I like the f what they are as objects. Um, but I also like that we have chosen, that we choose to wear certain things over others. There was a concern in my family around what people wore and the importance of clothing and what it meant to wear what we wore. It took a long time to shed that. And as a woman, um, it became even more imperative. So it was, both positive and, uh, it was both a positive and a negative experience, how one looked. And so I'm thinking that maybe some of my interest in clothing comes from, from that. I knew that I wanted to use uh, shirts in this uh, show, and it took me a very long time to figure out how I was going to do that. And they went through many, um, as the curator will attest to, they went through many, many configurations and iterations. And they finally, I realized I wanted to make something in Gallery 3 that was going to be, unlike the first two galleries, something that was going to be right in the space. And uh, so the column is uh, what I came up with. That piece is very much about accumulation and repetition and how both those things always get me to the next place and how repetition uh, can transform something and it becomes something else. And that's particularly true when you're working with uh, materials, when you repeat and you repeat materials and you build them on top of each other, it becomes something else. And I'm looking forward to seeing what this larger structure of color is going to be like in that space. I wanted to have, that you can see from the gallery when you come in, I wanted to have an element of pattern and color and an unknowing about what is that thing over there. And uh, my hope is that that's what's going to happen when you walk in. The title is A Girl's Gotta Do What A Girl's Gotta Do. It came to me, this title, literally as I was working in my studio and I was thinking sort of thinking about titles but not really I was mostly thinking about how sometimes as I get older how sometimes doing what I do in the studio is really hard <laughs> and it takes up a lot of energy and uh, physical energy I mean which is great but um, it just came to me that sentence and uh, I just thought a girl has just got to keep doing what a girl's got to keep doing so I shortened it obviously and um, that's how it came about it was really not intended to... I wanted something to be funny too I wanted to have a certain sense of humor I didn't want it to be earnest I didn't want it to be um, about what the work was and I thought that this was more about process, which is what my work is usually about.